Before the opening bell, U.S. futures remain well directed after they rebound for a second session yesterday. Economic recovery expectations lifted by progress in vaccinations and continued talks on President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus proposal. This all as 81% of S&P 500 constituents traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed in the headlines, Amazon.com gaining some ground pre-market after posting fourth quarter earnings that beat expectations. Separately, Jeff Bezos will transition to the role of executive chair in the third quarter of 2021. And Andy Jassy, current head of Amazon's cloud unit, will become the CEO of the company. Meanwhile, Alphabet, Google's holding company, expected to surge after posting fourth quarter EPS up to $22.30 from $14.89 a year ago on revenue up to $56.9 billion. Now, in terms of expectations today, we do have results due out for PayPal, Qualcomm, AbbVie, MetLife, as well as Allstate. While on the economic front, we do have a busy schedule. Throughout the session, we have the total vehicle sales for the month of January. Before the opening bell, the MBA 30-year mortgage rate. Also before the opening bell, we have the release of private, private payrolls. That's the ADP employment change figure. And then right after the opening bell, we have the combination of market services, market composite PMI reads, and then at 10 o'clock in the morning, the ISM non-manufacturing PMI read. Taking a look now at the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That's moving towards 3858. This while the Nasdaq intraday see there's a bullish bias above 13,370, and that's in focus. The break above 13,370 is a positive signal that has opened a path to 13,720. Long positions above 13,370 are favored with targets at 13,720 and 13,810 in extension. And lastly, the Dow Jones, that sees the bias remain bullish.